What is up guys? I just wanted to let you guys know the streaming situation since I kind of just stopped streaming on YouTube and a lot of people think I just stopped streaming altogether. But we are currently still streaming every single day, almost every single day, at 1 p.m. EST on kick.com slash tempest. So if you guys want to watch me live, 1 p.m. EST kick.com slash tempest. Other than that, that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What is up guys, today we are going to be showing you another new Yasuo build. This one is going to be basically very 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 similar to the Zuko build. I mean it's just another variation. But instead of going Gale Force 3rd, we're going to be going Iceborne. So this is for team comps that are like, you really want to stick to, because obviously you get the Bork slow, then you get the, um, what are the icy items called, I just said it, slow, and yeah, you just stick onto your opponent. So this game, Gragas is really hard to get to, same with Lissandra, and same with their bot lane. So yeah gonna be going that we could also go gale force again this game no leash why not i need to start lane uh we could go gale force this game but i don't think it's really worth it honestly i have the iceborne <clears throat> and then obviously we are going bt second most likely. You don't really want to go the Iceborne ever. Like, if you're thinking about going any tank, I think you always want a third. Also, we're against a Darius. Very good build in the top lane, by the way. Work is so heavily underrated. Good damage off. You really need to abuse the early levels with the also top. Nice. Also, I took Ignite just in case he took Ignite. Want to make sure I have it for the all-in. We would have died before he gets level 2. Oh! Please help! I think we're fine. Eh. Now we're gone. Yo, how broken is Jungle that he is level How is he level 3 before I'm level 3? I'm a solo laner. Man, fringe. Jungle is OP. Also, I'm really surprised Darius got the heal when I EQ'd onto him. <clears throat> it actually got me killed because I was just planning on like EQ, Ignite, Flash out. If I had to go for another auto. I don't know how it hit me, but... First game of the day gap, I suppose. Yeah, you really need to be playing those level 1s and levels 2. Super aggressive. One of the champions like Darius. Most juggernauts that are just going to run you down if you don't get a lead. It's definitely the biggest mistake people make with Yasuo top. I get to put a point in win wall, no point, obviously. Right, just because we killed him once doesn't mean we can just like run at him right now and kill him. This wave is way too big. At the end of the day, we only have one dagger on him, so. Not too much stronger. Although we do have potions on him, so I'm gonna keep keep that in mind. Okay, take a tower shot, strolling. Just gonna keep the wave here. <clears throat> he either has to walk up and we can just run him down or oh. oh a little scary, we can just wait for jungle. Hard. Oh, he's ghost. That's fine. Not really sure why I'm getting bait pinged, but it's fine. <laughs> what the hell? Low key might not be getting flamed there. I'm just like too conditioned to think it means. Yeah, you know what? That was ghost though, and we still just keep the wave here. Another tip with the also top, you always want to just like keep the wave right here. This is a sweet spot. Always one on your side. That's just like top lane in general, not really a Yasuo specific thing, but yeah. Especially important with Yasuo because you have no escape. If you're on his side, all you can do is E in. Pray for the best. He does have items on us now though. Or it's about equal now, I guess. Nice. 
I think we missed input like a little bit there. And luckily it's fine. And you see how like I wasn't autoing him because I was just like walking into him, making sure he doesn't get the heal. Even if he got the heal, I think it may have been fine. Well, honestly, no. One more auto, I was dead. I wish I remember seeing Darius a lot recently with Yasuo, so I kind of like this matchup. I don't know if I like it, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, once you get Bork, we just steamroll it so hard. There's definitely better games to go the Iceborne build. Honestly, looking at this game again, it doesn't look too, too good. Maybe Gale Force is a little bit better, but... just want to show it off. It would be better into, like, let's see against Vayne Top. Vayne Top, and you have Bork and Iceborne. She's super slow. It's really good against range. And obviously, AD targets, because it gives only armor, no MR. Didn't mess up everybody in the video, Pogo. <laughs> I'm sad that's an accomplishment. Okay, we're unrusting Miyasa. Ooh, I may have greeted. Oh no. He was legit letting me go too, that's the worst part. Ow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they were okay. Run! Nice. We're just wasting this guy's time so hard. Feel bad. We're gonna miss some CS here because of it, though. Okay, the Yon? Fiddle ult? Damn, this guy's really holding his ult. Oh. So he could just ult it in there, what? Even if he's not getting a kill, he has, um... First strike, he would make so much gold off it. I think people don't really understand that with first strike. Even if you're not getting a kill, it's like... It's gold, you know. Gold equals kill. Okay, team is smurfing. <laughs> that, that's crazy. <laughs> I think the Gragas might be a bit tilted. Got the bone planning off. Another rule of thumb with um, Yasuo in general, not even just top. Before you go for that all in, make sure to like E in, Q, po uh, poke the bone pudding off, disengage, and then go back in. You never want to full engage when they have bone pudding up. Oh, when it fucks up, man. Doesn't matter. It throws me off so hard when I do an airblade and just like messes up like that. Unlucky. Is a bit gritty, probably should spend our gold, but you know, we're so far ahead, it doesn't matter. Kind of level 90 levels. Oh shit. If I actually die here, Darius is the best champion in the game. There's no way. That's what I thought. <laughs> Oh, 
Little bro is tilted. Oh, damn. I mean, I would be too. Now nah, we get out for see the Sandra. Might not even get to the build, honestly, but still, if we don't, I think this video is a very good, uh, just like guide of like how to play Yasuo top for the most part. A lot of tips to pick up, especially since I don't really post many Yasuo top videos. That'd be good for those who want to play, especially when we're doing like one of the hardest matchups. And again, second item when you're going Bork is always going to be Bloodthirster. Think of Bloodthirster like a mini shield bow, but it's not taking a mythic slot, you know? So it's like Bork, BT, BT, and then whatever you want. It's kind of fun. That's why this build is really fun. So like you can go anything. You can even go Eclipse if you want. Go Eclipse, Triforce for funsies, like Kraken Slayer maybe, Gale. You can always go regular shield bow, by the way. Just because you're going, what's called? BT second doesn't mean you can't go shield bow. <laughs> it's not against the rules. Okay, they don't build any anti heal. You go shield bow, boom, three life steal items. How do you ever die? I'm trying to keep my distance. You can definitely dodge his E if you go like max range of Q. This always try to be annoying. Deny some CS when we can. If you can't deny any CS, obviously can't really die. We can just look for the Kruggies. Especially when we're this strong. I'm not scared of this guy at all. Yep, power Bork. Wow, I sure wants to fight. A little not too clean on the tornadoes, but am I the only one that like cannot play clean on Yasuo if I don't have Nightbringer? I swear, once you get used to it, you can never go back. <laughs> it just feels so weird. Yeah, I really want you guys to realize like once you get bored, you are legit Thanos. Like you are God. Your champion will just do so much damage. It's insane. So once you get this item, just go boss to the walls. You can legit 3v1. Potentially. <clears throat> also, you could go, what's it called, overheal with this, just because we're going two lifesteal items. But Triumph is just kind of a safer option, I want to say, because a lot of games, especially in lower elos, are going to be very bloody. And game equals bloody, more gold, very nice. That's why I never say take overheal in lower elos. It's not worth it. Unless maybe you're just not a high kill player. But I mean, I don't think that should be a thing. You should just improve on that. Wow, the slow is so nice. He even has a Warden's Mail. Still melting through him. Such an insane item. And then after you stop lane as a top laner, your goal should be getting this turn. I see a lot of top laners be like, Oh, I need to like help my team afterwards, but no. Don't overroam, especially when your team's already losing. If your team's hard losing, the worst thing you could do is roam, lose that 5v5, boom. Your whole lead's over, game's over. So just keep pushing, getting that massive CS lead, just getting their Krugs on cooldown, getting this turret. Because I don't think you guys realize how much gold tier 2 turrets give in the side lane. It's so much. I think it's like 600. I mean, even I don't know. <laughs> but I know it's at least 2 kills. I think it's 600. Shut 
Like, have we left our lane a single time? No, we have not. But after you get the tier 2, then you can start grouping. Because by this time, look at our items. BT, Bork, we're two and a half items, while everyone is one item, or less. So that's when you want to use your massive advantage and just group. Because you should be, like, one behind the game by then. Are so strong, which is honestly just look for anyone in a fight. Don't run it down though. Like, even right now, it'd be kind of greedy to like 1v3 there. If it was a champion, not like Lissandra, where it's point click CC, it's fine, but honestly, it's a bit scary. Okay, see how we roam? We look for a fight, there's no fight. Okay, doesn't matter. Then we go back top, hit the CS, and then we go straight for the objective. And once we have this objective, we just Honestly, we can even go bot and then get this turret. Get two of the outer turrets. There's just so much gold, man. That's like four kills. Four or five kills. Crazy amount. Ideally, just yoink it from the jungler. Where's over there? Preferably, we'd want to be bot lane so we can get it, but there's someone already there. Can't really do much about it. Okay, my brother. Again, we're gonna go for the Kruggies. Should probably be getting that wave first, because the Kruggies are always gonna be here. But this is what I want you guys to realize. Just play. You see how like I'm not playing into them. I'm just legit playing into my own game. Or playing my own game. I'm just staying top because like, no one's fighting. Oh my god, why was that thing so loud? Dropping here over here is kind of a little early, honestly. But at least we brought three people here. Ideally, you want to like get some hits on the turret, then use it when it's on the kill, but... Yeah, a bit of a misplay bias. Oops. You guys, throw me off. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is try to go for a dive right now. Don't dive. Like, just because nothing's happening and you're bored, it, don't confide into that boredness. That's how you lose. We're just gonna keep pulling people top and not going in, just getting their attention, and then your team should get to- Oh. Yeah, what not to do. Oh my god, I cannot- That's what you don't do. Dude, this- I cannot hit a tornado on this Lissandra. Her movements are like, so weird. Okay, I need to stop thinking she's gonna do my bad. Oh no, that everyone dies. Smooth. See? Do what I don't do. I got bored. Got distracted while talking, and I died. But- at least our fiddle cleans it up. So ideally, if like nothing's happening, you don't need to go for like a risky play right here. Just wait for Baron. They're not playing the game, right? If they're not playing the game, do Baron, do Dragon. Okay, may as well not go this then. Um, just go Gale Force. I think it's better this game anyway. That's the thing that people don't really understand too, it's like, if you cannot go in, you don't have to be going into them. 
Like, if they're sitting under turret, okay. Push the wave, let them sit under turret, boom, just do Baron. Then end the game with Baron. Easy. Also, this build is taking no damage to Baron, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to save them all once the Baron starts doing a lot of damage. Oh, my fiddle sees me on Baron and is still doing this caps. What the man? And now we're level 15 while everyone is level 11. Top lane can definitely carry. People who say top lane can't carry are just people who are bad at top lane. I'm gonna be honest. Why you ain't the red buff? If I'm allowed. No. Boom! Oh. You know, I misplayed it on purpose because I would have felt bad if I gave it, you know? And now, since we're this far ahead, get the side lane pushing, and then we can just group and dive. We're so far ahead. Oh, so that Darius does not like us. Holy shit. Look at his builds. I have a team like this in a while where they just like have no life in them at all. But at the end of the day, it wouldn't have mattered if they had life in them, right? If they tried to fight, we just killed them, so. If they don't try to fight, they do nothing, you get the objectives and then end the game. I she can't end. I eh, should be able to. Oh my Gale Force. I'm trying to look to use it, but I guess we can't. But yeah, hope this helped a little bit. And if you guys like the Gale Force, or not the Gale Force, the top lane content, let me know. I'll definitely do more. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.